Welcome back to Vinyl Decal School. Thanks for joining me. Any likes, follows and subscribes are always appreciated. So thank you in advance for those. So a while back, I did an Etsy versus Shopify comparison video. You can watch that here if you're wondering which route to go down. But in that video, I didn't do many of the technical aspects of setting up a Shopify shop. So I thought in this video, I would do that, just kind of do a general overview of how to get one set up and kind of what you need to think about. So my Shopify store is still very secondary to my Etsy shop. Etsy is still where I make most of my vinyl decal sales. And I know that in order to grow my Shopify, I really need to put more effort into marketing it or hiring someone to market it for me. I've just kind of been putting it off because I don't really want to be much busier than I am at the minute. So that is something I'm planning to do in future, but just not at the moment. But I do definitely still think it's worth having my Shopify site. I still do make sales on there and it's also where I have all of my instruction videos and posts. And I also have like a sign up to my newsletter on there as well. And as I've went into in my previous video, I do just like having my little space on the internet that's kind of my own. I've got my own control over it and it's not connected to Etsy or someone else. So although I do have that Shopify site already up and running, I'm going to start from scratch on this video because I think it'll just be easier to show you what it looks like when you begin. And also because I imported all of my designs from Etsy to Shopify when I first started it. So the only way I'm going to be able to show you how to do that is by starting from scratch with this one. And I'll use my Vinyl Decal School Etsy in order to demonstrate it. So it's not technically vinyl decals, but it still works all the same. And I'll still mention things I've specifically done to sell vinyl decals as we go along. So you can currently get a free trial on Shopify. So that's what I'm gonna do for Vinyl Decal School. But by the way, this website will not exist after I've made this video because I actually do now have a Vinyl Decal School website. If you haven't already seen it, you can find that at vinyldecalschool.com. And I'm currently trying to add lots of written content to go with my videos, as well as resources on where to find the best vinyl suppliers and SVG sites, as well as more information on my courses. So please do check it out and have a look and let me know what you think. So I'm not selling anything through that website yet. It is a Squarespace website, which you can use as an e-commerce website as well, but I have tried it in the past. I didn't love the functionality compared to Shopify, but I wanted it to be more of a blog and kind of resource hub rather than a shop anyway. So that's why I'm not gonna leave this Shopify as active after I make it. And it's just for the purposes of this video. Hopefully that all makes sense. Anyway, let's just get to it. So it's super easy to sign up. You just go to shopify.com, add your email address, and you can currently try it free for 14 days. It just takes you through and you add all your details. And then you'll be taken to your homepage. There are a few videos on how to get started. You might wanna check those out. And then you can either start by designing your online store, so kind of the front end of your website first, or adding all of your products in first. And I'm gonna add the products in first because then it's a bit easier to kind of move them around and design your website around them. So in order to add your first product, if you already have an Etsy shop, then it's super easy to migrate your listings across. And it's one of the first things Shopify will ask you to do. It'll say import store. And there's basically an app called Store Importer you might need to download, but it's super quick and you just get your data from Etsy. There are instructions that are really easy to read, so don't think you have to write this down, but to find them, it's just under settings, options, and download data. And then I've just downloaded the currently for sale listings for now. You can download the rest if you're considering on shutting your Etsy shop and you don't wanna lose anything, but I'm just doing that one for now. I've already started the import. So yeah, it's just the product titles and listings that I'm gonna get. So wait for those to upload. As I'm doing that, I'll show you how to just add, oh, they've started already, how to just add a product, product from scratch. So you basically go in, add product, and you have your title, a description, which is kind of size, colors, anything else your customer needs to know 
and especially if it's a vinyl decal that you're selling you need to make it really clear that that's what it is and they're not getting a finished product if they buy this media section is where you add all of your photos and then you can either add one price or you can add variants so if you're adding if you're offering lots of different sizes you just add the different size options here and then same goes for color and then you just add the prices in here and the different quantities and then take that this is a physical product because you're shipping it i don't use the weight to calculate my shipping rates you could but I'll show you how I do it further on in the video. So that's just a super quick overview. And if you have a look at one of the ones that has come across from Etsy, you can see what it looks like when everything's filled in. So when you do import from Etsy, you will need to do some edits because the description will need to be reformatted. Also make sure that anything that is relevant to Etsy is taken off there as well. So this is obviously a code for money off on Etsy you might want to replace that with a Shopify code instead also make sure all of your pictures are relevant it will only pull one cost from Etsy it won't do a list so if you've got variants on your Etsy shop it's not going to do those for you unfortunately so that is a bit of a pain but again as I've just said you just it's pretty easy to add them in and you just have to go through and do the different costs again make sure you're ticking this as a physical product and then on this organization section you need to add collections in this bit here i'll do that in a moment but also i take all the tags off because it makes it look really messy when you're in the front end of your website it might depend what theme you use but for me i just took them all off because it was kind of confusing things but yeah, once you've gone through everything, if you've made sure everything is correct, just save it. But before you go through and edit all of your products or add new products, you probably do want to do your collections first. So in order to do that, go collections. This kind of creates categories for all of your different products. So for instance, if you're selling vinyl decals and you sell quite a few different types, say you do like home organisation ones, then one collection could be under that. Then you can either manually add them as you go through and edit or add your products, or you can do it automated, say if you want to do a selection of $10 and under, I guess you could do well it comes out as pounds is less than 10 pounds everything will go in that collection i just found it a lot easier to do it manually just so that i didn't miss anything I made sure everything went in the right place so if you go back to your products you should now be able to add that in home organization and then when i come to design the front end of the website you'll see why that's more important and then there's a lot more I could go into in this back end stuff, but for just setting up your shop, you don't really necessarily need to think about it yet. But if you want to kind of manage your inventory, there's sections to do that and kind of set things up so you know when you're going to have certain things in stock. It's not really that relevant for me for my decals. And then there's all of the analytics stuff, which is really useful to see where all of your customers are coming from, how many people are buying, all that kind of thing. Loads of different tips and apps that can help you with marketing and doing like different sales campaigns, stuff like that. And I think one of the best things about Shopify is how many different apps you can get that kind of run hand in hand with them. So yeah, if you go on the Shopify app store, there's loads of different ones depending on what you want to do and what you want them to help you with. I have one for that adds my Instagram feed on the bottom of my shop. I have one for ConvertKit that syncs up with my newsletter. And I was also trying this one out that I saw recommended somewhere, which has a pop-up every time someone buys something. So your customers kind of get social proof, but definitely look more into it, especially depending on what you kind of want to do and sell. And then a few other things you need to think about when you're setting up your shop can be found in 
the setting section which is the bottom left and that is something that is quite important which is your legal pages so you like your refund policy and your privacy policy and all of that which you kind of need to have if you have a website they do have templates for you though you can which makes it really easy but do read through them make sure everything is correct otherwise you might want to get some legal advice or look into that further then you also need to make sure your payments are set up correctly it's really easy again you just you can take payment from all of these cards you can do paypal checkout amazon pay or you can kind of set up your own you just click through them again super easy and then for shipping and delivery i'm actually going to link a different video from someone else in the description for you for that because i just tried to do a short summary of it and it was taking way too long so i think it's something that really needs its own video but i don't want to do my own video on it so i let someone who knows a lot more about it explain that for you so i think that's the majority of everything you need to know for setting up the back end of the website once your website is live and you start getting orders they will show up in the orders section Obviously I can't show you what that looks like just yet, but it comes up with like a customer name and you click on it and it'll come up with all of the details from the order as well as their email address in case you need to message them or email them for further details. And you can print a shipping form and an order form as well with their address and all of the details on that you can put into your package. So once all of that is set up, you can move on to designing the front end of your store. So you do that in online store section. This is just the standard theme that I think comes when you open your shop, but you can change the theme if you don't like that. If you visit the theme store, there are a number of free ones and ones you have to pay for depending on what you want your store to look like, or you can probably get templates from elsewhere. I'm not sure. I'm just going to stick with the one that's in there just to make it easy for myself. So in order to customize, you just press customize and it's a really easy drag and drop system. So you can see here, I've already added my logo in, in the header, and you can just play around with things. Um, if you want an announcement across the top, make sure that's ticked and you could do a money off code or a sign up to your newsletter there to make sure everyone sees it and then obviously this is going to be the first thing that your customers see so you want to make that really impressive and maybe let everyone know what it is you're selling scroll down you can add different pictures in you can do a featured collection so this could be your home organization collection obviously there's only one in there at the moment and that will change as you add more designs into that section and then if you want to add like another collection in or something like that you just go add section and you could add like a video or something in there and if you want to move that up to the top it's just a really easy as i said drag and drop system you can move these around or you can turn them off or you can remove them so once you've done all the kind of adding photos if you want to change all the colors of everything to suit your brand you just go in theme settings which is right at the bottom and you have lots of different things that you can change the color for and the opacity and same again for typography you can do different headers and body text and kind of change the size you can also add in all of your social media handles and then anytime there's like a social sharing button or section then they will come up and yeah just go through and have a play with it basically that's the fun in having your own website is that you've got so much control over how it looks and what you can do with it but do be sure to save everything as you go along um, also, if you click this button, you can see what it looks like on a mobile full screen desktop to make sure everything still looks good on a phone as well. So obviously you want more than just your homepage though. So to add extra pages, go to pages section, add page, and you can do like about us, contact us, FAQs. But I'm just going to do a contact us page. And there's actually a template for that, which adds a contact box. 
So if you save that, and then if you want to add it to your menu, you go on navigation, add menu item, and then you just add it in there and then it will be under pages and contact us and you add it in, save, and then it should, when you go back to your website, be under contact us and just pop up there. And then that will, any messages from there will be sent to the email address that you signed up to Shopify with, I believe. Then what I do specifically on my Vanel Decal Shopify website is I've got a blog that has all of my instruction pages on there for all of the different decals I sell and how to apply them to different things. I also have a number of videos that are hosted privately on YouTube that I embed into there as well. So to do that, you just go to blog post, create blog post, and then you will just add your title, then write your instructions here if you wanna add a video, you can embed something from YouTube by going to the video you want to use and share and embed. And then you literally just have to copy that code into there. And it's as easy as that. And then write your instructions underneath. Or you could add a photo or a number of photos if you'd rather do that. And then if you add a featured image, it looks a bit better when it comes up on your site as well. And then you want to make sure it's in its own kind of category. So I've already added instructions in here, but you just create a new blog and we'll add blog title. So I'd add instructions there. Oh, actually make sure it's visible. Save it. And then again, you will have to add that to your main menu. That will be under blogs. And then when you go back to your website, it will be there on your homepage. That doesn't look great right now, but once you play around with all of the style, it will look a lot better. You also want to make sure people can find your products properly in your menu section as well. So if you go back to navigation in main menu, at the moment they're under catalogue for some reason. So if you actually change it to final decals, and then you could either have all of your products there, or you could have one specific collection. Maybe you want a menu item for each different section of your decals depends what you want to do i'm just going to leave it as all products for now and then when you go on there you should be able to find all of your products and then as i mentioned when you leave all the tags from etsy this is kind of what it looks like so once you take all of those off i think you'll be left with just your different collections so people can sort them so it'll be a lot easier for people to find the different things and so when customers click on one of your listings, this is what it will look like when it comes up and they can just add to cart or buy it now. They'll be able to purchase and add any details they need to add in the notes section when they check out. It is worth just going through everything and making sure everything you need to be there is there, like making sure there's enough boxes for them to add their address, making sure there's like a note section to add any details they need to add. And if there's not, I think you can go, I think this is more for the style, but then there are also checkout settings when you go to your settings box. And although that was a long video, I couldn't really do it any shorter because there is so much to go into and that is literally the basics of setting up a Shopify. If you want to know more about the ins and outs, I would really recommend doing maybe a mini course, have a look on Skillshare or watching lots of individual videos about all the different sections of Shopify if you're struggling. But I do think the best thing to do is just to kind of do the free trial, have a play with it and as soon as you get stuck then look up. A video or a blog post to help you. So I hope that was helpful to you if you're considering setting up a Shopify store. Let me know if you have any further questions and I'll try and help as best as I can and let me know in the comments if you're thinking of opening a Shopify store now you've watched that video. Please also don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for more videos like this in future.